Morning, Warriors. Morning, sir. It is 11.46 on the 17th of uh, October, 2023. Marshal, can we hear roll call? Yes, sir. American Legion Post 59. Mr. Agregano, I seen him. Oh, there he yeah, is. Yeah, they're here. He's present. Black Widows, Ms. Salinas. Catholic War Veterans. Mr. Segovia had a death in the family. He, he sent a text to us, so okay. he won't be making it. Disabled American Veterans. Mr. Contreras, he's not able to make it either. He was at a, a medical procedure. Korean War Veterans. Lulek 777. Present. Okay. Marine Corps League. Present, sir. South Texas, Afghanistan, and Iraqi veterans. Present. Uh, Texas Military Department soldiers and family readiness. Mr. Quijano, he's on a, on a training mission to San Antonio, I believe, or Austin. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> Texas Veterans Commission, Ms. Uh, VA Laredo Outpatient Clinic. Ms. Crystal, I spoke with her. She was she's on a business um, assignment. Valor, Mr. Geiser still he had a accident and he's still not in good shape. He's going to be absent. Veterans from foreign wars, I didn't hear anything from him. Webb County Service Office, Mr. Sir, we have a quorum now. Thank you, sir. for the Pledge of Allegiance. Heavenly Father, may the strength of God sustain us, may the power of God preserve us, may the hand of God protect us, and may the light of God show us the way. The love of God be with us also. Amen. 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 We'll be seated. We entertain a motion for approval of minutes as presented. So moved. A second. A second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Citizens comment. We have Mr. Albert Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez. All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, for the record, my name is Albert Hernandez and I am the service uh, director, the, excuse me, the director of veteran services for Laredo College and I'm trying to see if I can get some assistance here to get the projector going. I just got a quick little uh, message that I want to share with you all in an event that is forthcoming that is scheduled for tomorrow. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can clean that up a little bit. All right, so I just want to go ahead and share this and um, uh, pretty much just talk about the event. So. Uh, Laredo College is fortunate enough to receive, uh, uh, be gifted, for those of you that may not know already, the statues that were at the PNC Bank uh, over towards the end of I-35. Those uh, statues and some of the memorials have been relocated to Laredo College in front of Private David Barkley Cantu Chapel. There's an area that's going to be unveiled tomorrow. This is a rededication for those statues that are now, again, gifted to Laredo College by PNC. And I just want to go ahead and invite the veteran community and any of the veteran community supporters that would like to be there in attendance. It is open to the public. It is at 9 a.m. We are looking at starting uh, sharp at 9 a.m. And again, uh, it's an area there right in front of the chapel at Laredo College towards the, the back end of the campus. And it is going to be an outdoor ceremony. Uh, again, it'll be at 9 a.m., and it's a rededication of the statues and the memorials that were there at PNC Bank, formerly known as uh, Laredo National Bank. 
Uh, and again, this is the message that I wanted to share for uh, all veterans within our Laredo community for the day of today. Are there any questions? Any questions or comments? Thank you, Mr. Right. Hernandez. Other than that, I hope to see you all tomorrow. Your schedule permits. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be there. We also have Mr. David Anchuleta and Mr. Lopez. Communications. I, yes, Chairman, for the record, Gabriel Lopez. I uh, just want to introduce uh, an, an Army veteran retired who's now working for the Texas Veterans Network. He is part of the larger network that uh, assists veterans throughout the state of Texas. And um, I'll, I'll let you. Thank you, Gabriel. Uh, Chairman, for the record, my name is David Archuleta. I am the uh, South Texas um, Regional Manager for Texas Veterans Network. Um, I'm going to try to put this on here as well. Uh, this is this is just a rack card, and uh, I, I brought several uh, with me so I could share with you all. Um, I appreciate Gabriel for inviting me here, um, uh, and um, I appreciate Albert Hernandez for the invite to the dedication ceremony tomorrow, uh, which I'll be supporting. Um, I'll keep this really quick. Um, what Texas Veterans Network is. Their goal is to interconnect the state of Texas. Um, currently, there's been regional managers everywhere else other than South Texas until this past April. Um, the, uh, so I've been working diligently in South Texas. Uh, and uh, it's only been five months, but uh, I'm working on creating a battle rhythm so that I could get here on a regular basis, so I could get to the, uh, to the valley on a regular basis, so I get to Corpus on a regular basis. But currently, I'm just a one-man show. Uh, hopefully, that changes this coming year. Um, who we are, in a nutshell, is we are a we are a, uh, a Salesforce platform, and what we are is, is uh, we're connected with 280 vetted nonprofits. And when I say vetted, I mean um, if there's a nonprofit that wants to partner with us to provide resources to our uh, uh, veterans and military spouses, um, prior to them coming on board and, and becoming a, a resource of ours, uh, we take a look at their 990s, we take a look at their board of directors, uh, we do some Google researches because we want to ensure that whatever nonprofit, uh, um, that, that that nonprofit does what it say it's supposed to do. There's a lot of nonprofits out there that don't follow through what they're supposed to do. So we want the best in class nonprofits to service our veterans and military families. Uh, currently, we have about 1,100 unique resources uh, that are available. Um, and uh, it's a simple process. Uh, the veteran could get online, uh, create a short profile, request up to 10 resources at a time. Uh, within 72 hours, that vetted nonprofit will reach out to that veteran and provide assistance. And we also have a 24-7 intake call center uh, to provide assistance as well for those that, you know, um, not necessarily uh, are good with computers or things of that nature. So um, pending any questions, sir, I, I, I appreciate you having me here and I uh, appreciate what you all do and I appreciate your, your all service. Uh, I'm a veteran myself, a, a veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan. I did 25 years in the United States Army. Uh, what was that again? I did 25 years in the United States Army. Okay, thank you, sir. Cool. So, pending questions, sir, that's, that's all I have right now. <laughs> any questions or comments by anybody? Uh, uh, yes, Chairman, Gabriel Lopez for the record. I just wanna uh, point out, um, I know that uh, the main focus of getting services through the Texas Veterans Network is online, but uh, if especially our our older folks who, uh, who are elderly uh, veterans who don't have access to a computer, I'm only a, a call away. You can just call me, and I can go to you, and uh, I can give you access through the, whatever services that you need. I'm always ready to do that. Thank you much. Thank you, Mr. Lopez and Mr. Achuleta. Thank you also. Uh, we normally suspend the meeting for December, but we'd like to have you back uh, sometime next year now that you have uh, the, the position that you have serving South Texas. And I'm sure we can put it together a, a lot of questions and things that we are looking forward to maybe hooking up with, uh, with the organization and, and trying to help the uh, 
or improve the, the quality of life of our veterans. So hopefully early next year we can have you back and, and we have more veterans here so we can uh, pick your brain, so to speak. I, Thank I you so much for being here. I look forward to that, Chairman. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. So that uh, concludes our citizens' comments. Now we have communications. First item on the agenda is by Korean War veteran representative about the MIA Korean War soldier remains and were laid to rest on October the 14th, 2023. Mr. Sanchez. Ernesto Sanchez for the record. I want to thank Mr. Quijano and the BFW that got the bull by the horns and they did a beautiful job. The city and everybody came out and it felt so good to bring the second missing in action. We still have four more and I hope we can find a few of them. It was unbelievable, the people that came uh, to this ceremony. It, it'd be hard to, to, to do it again. It's unbelievable. I, I was so amazed. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Any comments or questions on this item? Next item on the agenda we have by Catholic War Veteran Representative about the update to the Vietnam Veterans Park. Uh, Mr. Segovia, is normally heading this particular program or project, and he couldn't make it today because of this in the family. So, unless there is somebody else that might have uh, some input on, on this particular item, <coughs> about it. You Thank you. You didn't say you didn't. Can... Yes. Next item on the agenda is a Marine Corps League representative on information about Halloween party. We don't want any more rock candy, though. <laughs> no teeth. <laughs> Mr. Alvarez? That wasn't for that. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Just a reminder that Halloween's coming around, and to avoid any accidents, uh, children should be uh, monitored. They should be escorted. They should be lit up. Uh, flashlights, uh, reflective tapes, whatever you need, if they're going to be on the street. It is safer to have a Halloween costume party. The adults can also dress up and join the, the fun. A party is a lot safer than street walking. There's going to be a lot of traffic Halloween. There's going to be a lot of kids out in the street. And just to mention, safety is number one. Our children are, is our best assets. We don't want to lose any, anybody, and we don't want to have any accidents. Just a reminder, Halloween just around the corner. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. Any comments or questions? Thank you. Next item on the agenda we have by Texas Veteran Commission representative to inform the community of coffee for veterans on November the 19th. Ramirez. Those are dangerous looking nails you have, Ms. Ramirez. <laughs> They're Navy, just like what I was in. I'm sorry, your technology does not adapt to my technology, but all right. Hi, everyone. Maria Isabel Ramirez Shrout with the Texas Veterans Commission. I'm the healthcare advocate at the Laredo Outpatient Clinic. 
Um, today, I wanted to inform you all about a, an event that I'm hosting. It's the Coffee with Veterans on Thursday. I will be having it at the Inner City Library over on 202 West Plum. It will be from 11.30 to 1.30, and all veterans are welcome to come and participate. We will be having um, our Toys for Tots representative there if anyone wanted to um, bring in some toys as well. Um, he will be there. Um, we'll have a little box for him there. Um, this is just so that I could be able to inform all the veterans and the community of resources available through Texas Veterans Commission and to also help the veterans build more camaraderie amongst each other and uh, socialize with coffee. Any questions? Ms. Ramirez, can you repeat the location and time, please? Yes, it's going to be at the Inner City Library, and it's 202 West Plum from 11.30 to 1.30, and that's um, at the same place where the Inner City Pool is at. Um, there's the building across from the Inner City Pool. Thank you, Ms. Ramirez. Any questions or comments on this issue? I will go ahead and share the flyer with you so that you can be able to um, share it with everyone else via please. email. Okay. That's a PDF. Marshall? No, that's what I was going to ask her. Yes, sir. Beat me to it. I okay. got you. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Ramirez, and thank you for being here. Appreciate thank you it. all. Thank you. Next item on the agenda, we have discussion with possible action by uh, Lupe Alvarez regarding the Toys for Toys. For toys, toys. For and any matters incident there too. Mr. Alvarez. Thank you. Uh, this year, Toys for Tots is being uh, initiated by the Marine Corps. Their number one priority is children. It takes a village to raise a child, and we are the examples for those children. We can all be Santa Claus by initiating uh, unwrapped brand new gift for the children who are less fortunate than we are. There are children in Laredo, as we know, and the outskirts of Laredo, inside the Laredo boundaries, that will not get a Christmas present. Toys for Tots is nationwide, and they want every child possible to get a Christmas present. So there are collection boxes throughout the city to collect, especially for those children. If you cannot buy a present, you can donate and support Toys for Tots this year, we're being uh, represented by the Marine Corps League of Laredo. If there's any questions, come and see me, or you can see Isabel. She can uh, direct you to where the collection boxes are and see any member of the Marine Corps League, and they can direct you to how to help. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. Like always, uh, even if you're not on the agenda, if you're here, you have anything to say or comment for the betterment and welfare of our veterans, before I ask for an adjournment. Sure. Do you have Mr. Lopez? For the record, Gabriel Lopez. Uh, I just noticed a couple of things, um, and I wanted to see, ask the city what, what, uh, what has been the problem, but I have not seen in the last maybe three or four months a uh, veteran of the month held by the city, unless I'm wrong, but I don't think that, that would stop. And the city <laughs> had it going, but lately, recently, I have not seen any presentation or any, I don't know, who, I don't know why they stopped that. Uh, yes, sir. Have uh, you recommended any veterans for the Veterans of the Month? Personally, no, I have not. Not, not this to. lately, not this recently. Somebody has to. Yes, the, the way it works, it's on the mayor's website. It's There's on the mayor, well, yeah, I know that was the mayor website, but. There's uh, a form that anyone in the community, it doesn't have to be a city employee, it could be anyone, anyone. Um, mm -hmm. They fill out that form, and you can nominate them. Anyone can nominate them, and then it goes. But, but the, the program process. is still going. That's, that's yes. It's, it's okay. never stopped. What stopped was that people nominating uh, okay. veterans. That that's what stopped. But the, the maybe perhaps we can do a PSA, chair, uh, and put it that way. Uh, absolutely, uh, and I think we should yeah. we should discuss about it uh, with more detail next meeting. So yes, the uh, the information that's put out by mm -hmm. by the city through our TV channel that uh, when it's been meetings are recorded would, would be helpful also. But uh, certainly we do need to make uh, the public aware of, of this, right. this function that uh, that we do need to recognize our veterans in, in any way possible. Yes, so sir, thank you just, for bringing it up, Mr. Lopez. Yes, just one last item. Um, I know that uh, the city of Laredo has a, um, 
a goal of uh, veterans' preference for employment, for hiring, and I know that a few years I brought this item and the goal was to be 10%. I know about a year and a half ago we asked the city council member to provide us with those numbers. Uh, I would like to request for the next meeting if the city can provide us with those numbers where we at at the 10% uh, veterans employment, veterans preference employment. How many veterans, in other words, we want to know how many veterans are actually working for the city. Yes, sir. And if we can get to the goal of 10%, that would be great. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Anybody else? Alfredo Grano, for the record, Mr. Chairman. I've noticed that we don't have a chair here for the MIA, sir. And I would like to request that uh, we do uh, by next meeting, but we have a chair here for the MIA, sir. Uh, like Absolutely, I'll answer that. Chair. Sir, this was only for the for the time being. Next meeting will not be here. We'll go back to chambers. Oh. Oh. What happened at chambers was that they're remodeling the technology uh, uh, screens. They're doing a lot of work to it. So that's the reason we've been here. It should be our last meeting here. And they do have one of those up there. Yes, sir. Thank you, Marshal. And, and that's a good idea. We should have done it here, too. Yes. M Mr. Sanchez, uh, you and I, Mr. Sanchez. Mr. Sanchez. You and I spoke uh, before the meeting. Uh, you might want to have some comments on, on another issue. You decided not to? Well, you don't have to. I just want to make sure that, uh, that you know that I remember our conversation. Uh, since the VFW uh, made a beautiful thing about this veteran, uh, Crescenciano Garcia, could we nominate them instead of veteran of the year, the unit of the month or something? Because they all work together in this beautiful thing. Absolutely. Something to look at. And, yes. And that's my idea. Thank you, Mr. Thank Sanchez. You. Go ahead, Mr. Lopez. In regards to what Mr. Sanchez says, I've seen it uh, in other uh, places at, at city halls where something like that is proposed. And I think that the VFW protocol, and I will go back and research it, but I think that the VFW protocol is to present it to the commander of the post, and then he will present it to his, uh, uh, you know, his members. But I think that's the way it's done. But again, we can do it as a unit. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Oh, for the record, Albert Hernandez, Laredo College uh, Veteran Services. Uh, one of the things that I left out in my earlier message and the invitation for tomorrow's event is that we are having the American Legion Post 59 Honor Guard that's going to be presenting uh, colors during the event, uh, and I want to thank them also publicly for um, participating in tomorrow's event. And on one last note, as a save the date, we will have an event, and I'll start sharing the information via email uh, for November 10th for the veterans uh, event that's going to be held at Laredo College. That will be also in the David, uh, excuse me, the private uh, David Barkley Cantu uh, Chapel area at 10 a.m. That's November 10th. Then I'll start sharing that through the different uh, uh, mediums and with the different contacts across the, the city and the county. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ernest. Anybody else? Let me just say uh, my regrets. I won't be able to be there, Mr. Hernandez and the rest of the veterans. I have a uh, physical therapy tomorrow during that hour. But uh, we certainly appreciate all the work that uh, you personally and Laredo College in general do for our veterans. With that said, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Hey, and ladies.